In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this cool fire cutout effect with an animation looping in the background in Canva in just a few minutes. But we'll also make a variant where we will have a semi-transparent effect of that same cutout shape. So you get a really nice dynamic slide in Canva. And we're starting from a blank canvas. We're starting from a presentation template and we're going to add a rectangle first. So press R to have a rectangle appear and make sure that it fills the entire slide. Now we grab one of the corners, hold the shift key and make it slightly smaller. It's important that you hold the shift key to contain the aspect ratios. Now we're going to place it in the middle of the slide until you get these two guidelines and then release. Now we go to the text options, add a title, you can close it and then type in the word that you want to cut out. In our case, this is fire. Increase it in size and for the font, we're using Montserrat, but the sub font, we're going to use black. So it's very bold font. This works very well with bold fonts. Place it in the middle of the slide. Again, when the guidelines appear or slightly higher, it really depends a bit on the optical effect that you want to get. I'm going to make it quite large and now we can change the colors. So we're going to change the font color to white and then this rectangle, we can give it the end color that we want. In our case, it's going to be black. Now, the reason we leave this bar on the side is because it's the same as the cutout text. So if we're going to punch it out, it will read the text as a background. So now we go to share, download, change it to PNG, make sure the transparent background is not checked and then click download. Once you have it downloaded, you add a new page, a blank page, and you drag the downloaded file into the slide. And now we have the image on the slide. So if I change the background color to something blue or purple, you'll see that this acts as an image and it's no longer editable. And that is exactly what we want. We select the image, we go to edit image, and then we click on background remover. And this will remove the background, so the border on the side, as well as the same color, so the images, so the text in this case. And this will give a cutout of our text from the rectangle. And that is the effect that we want to create. Now we can go to the elements tab and here type in fire. Go to videos and then you can choose whichever video you like of the fire. There's quite a few nice ones. I like this one for the campfire up close where it fills the entire screen. Position, send to back. And now we're going to reposition the word. So if you want to zoom out, you can hold the control key, scroll backwards or use this toggle switch at the bottom and place that rectangle with the cutout on your slide. And we're just going to increase it in size so it nicely covers everything on the slide. Position it in the middle and then release. And then you can already preview it on full screen. And this is already a pretty cool effect, but we can do more. Let's go back. Let's duplicate the page and we can add some transparency to that cutout shape that we've used. Let's put it on 80%. Maybe that's a bit too much. So let's go 85. And now we can compare both. Let's put them on full screen. And this is how you can create this really cool fire cutout effect in Canva in just a few minutes. But you can also add some transparency to the entire shape. So you see the background fire a little bit lighter and then within the cutout of the word, you see it in full resolution. If you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.